Hello everyone, this lesson is about demand and supply and it is focusing on the questions that are related to demand and supply. Determine the price and quantity at which the equilibrium exists. Equilibrium exists when the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded are equal. So in this case, the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied is equal here. Quantity demanded 70, quantity supplied 70. So the equilibrium price becomes 12 rand. So our answer to the question, equilibrium price is equal to 12 rand. Equilibrium quantity is equal to 70. The second question, state the law of supply. Okay, the law of supply, we talked about this before in one of our videos that are on this channel. Law of supply states that the higher the price of the product, the higher the quantity supplied, the lower the price of the product, the lower the quantity supplied. If the price is high, for example, 30 rand here, the quantity that is supplied is also high. We have 90 here. When the price is low, at a price of 7 rand, only 50 are supplied. Question 3. Calculate the excess supply. Show all your workings. Mm. How do we calculate excess supply? Excess supply means that there is more that has been supplied than what is being demanded. So in this case, we see that 90 were supplied, but only 40 being demanded. So we have excess supply right here. Here, there is no excess supply. Here, there is no excess supply. Excess supply means more quantity supplied than uh, quantity demanded. Now, how do we calculate excess supply? Excess supply is equal to quantity supplied minus quantity demanded. Quantity supplied is equal to 90, quantity demanded is equal to 40. So 90 minus 40 is 50. So our excess supply is 50. Question 4. Explain how the cost of production can influence the quantity supplied. How does the cost of production affect the quantity supplied? When the cost of production rises, the supply of a good or a service decreases. Why does it decrease? What it means is that it is now more expensive for the producers to manufacture the good or a service. Now, the best thing they can do is to decrease the supply. When the cost of production declines, the supply of a good or a service will rise. Why does the supply of a good or a service rise if the cost of production declines? What it means is that it is now cheaper for the producers to manufacture more goods and services using the same resources. Question 5. Explain the relationship between price of the product and the quantity demanded. Here we'll need the table. The relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. So when the price is high, the quantity demanded is low. But when the price is low, the quantity demanded is high. So there is a negative or inverse relationship between the price of the product 
and the quantity demanded. When the price is high, the quantity demanded is low. When the price is low, the quantity demanded is high. That is what I just explained using the table here. Question 6. Explain the relationship between the price of the product and the quantity supplied. We need a table here. When the price is high, the quantity supplied is high. When the price of the product is low, the quantity supplied is also low. So there is a positive relationship between the price of the product and the quantity supplied. So this is what I just explained using the table here. When the price is high, the quantity supplied is also high. When the price is low, the quantity supplied is also low. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to comment or request a video of any topic of your choice and consider it done. Goodbye. See you in the next lesson and don't miss it.